Hello, today I'll be doing a Versus video. This time it'll be for two albums that I listened to a lot when I was younger and still enjoy these albums all these years later. And the albums that I am talking about are White Pony by Deftones and Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. Excuse me, but yeah, both albums came out in the year 2000 different band situations though. With Deftones, this was their third album. It was the follow-up to Around the Fur, which is one of my personal favorite albums of all time. And something you notice with White Pony is that the band expanded their sound a bit more. Then we have Hybrid Theory, which is the band's debut album and commercially was definitely a big hit for the band. Also had many hit singles like In the End and Crawling, just to name a couple songs. But yeah, let's go ahead and first talk about White Pony. So yeah, this is album is often considered their best or at least one of their best. For me, one of their best. It's, it's in close second for me. Around the Fur has to be at the top for me. Again, one of my favorite albums of all time. But yeah, the band, again, as I mentioned earlier, expanded their sound a bit more with this album, experimented more, and it definitely paid off. I mean, definitely a really great album. If I were to name some of my favorites on here, Digital Bath, which is definitely one of the band's best songs. I do enjoy Elite, which is definitely one of the heaviest songs on here, maybe the heaviest. Street Carp is also pretty good. Then you have the song Knife Party, which is one of the more overlooked songs on the album to me, and also one of my favorites on here. Maybe one of my favorite Deftone songs, honestly. I absolutely love that song. You also have the song Passenger featuring Maynard from Tool, which another band that I do enjoy. Passenger definitely one of the big highlights on the album and it's also a little over six minutes long and you don't really feel the length all that much which is definitely really good but yeah Passenger definitely a really great song then you have the big song on here Change in the House of Flies which to me is one of their best singles and of course um, one of their most commercially successful singles but yeah, overall, really great album. Chino Marino's vocals on here are definitely really good, such as in songs like Digital Bath or Change or Knife Party, just to name a few songs. But yeah, all around, really great album. And now let's go ahead and move on to Hybrid Theory. Again, the debut album for the band commercially did very well for them, and it's often considered their best or one of their best for me. One of their best, this album is in close second for me. Meteora has to be at the top for me. It could be a nostalgia thing, who knows, but I absolutely love Meteora. I mean, this is, this is an album that is definitely a no-skip album in my opinion, but I'd also say the same thing for the next album, Meteora. So yeah, with Hybrid Theory, I mean, the big songs on here, I think are still all, are still great all these years later, such as songs like Crawling, In the End, and One Step Closer. But you also get some, even the lesser known songs in here are also really good, like With You and Forgotten. Another highlight with this album is the vocal chemistry between Chester Bennington and Mike Shinoda. It really shines in songs like Points of Authority and Forgotten, just to name a couple songs. You also really get to hear Mr. Han's talent and Cure for the Itch. Definitely a really solid song on here. And then you have Pushing Me Away, which is on the more melodic side, which is also the album closer also pretty good song i don't know if i'd rank it as one of my favorites on here but either way it's still a really good song still a really great album closer and honestly one of the band's best album closers honestly but then we move to the riff department and by myself is definitely one of the highlights for me when it comes to riffs on the album i do really dig the heavy guitar and that song especially but yeah all around really great album definitely a new metal classic in general, one of the best things to come from the new metal movement, along with their next album, Meteora. But yeah, rest in peace, Chester Bennington, 100%. Definitely a bummer that I never got the chance to see them live with, with Chester, let alone meet the guy. Because again, when I was younger, I definitely worshipped their first three albums a lot. I definitely listened to their first three albums a lot when I was younger. But yeah, Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park, definitely a classic in the new metal genre and also really great. So if I were to pick which album that I like more, I'd probably go with Hybrid Theory due to probably, if I had to guess, replay value. If I had to guess, I'd probably return to that album more. But also um, with Hybrid Theory, I feel like, it, as I mentioned earlier, it has no skips. I can't really say the same thing for White Pony. There's maybe 
one or two songs that are maybe somewhat skippable to me, but even the one or two songs that I think are skippable on White Pony are still great. It's just, I just find myself returning to other songs more, I guess you could say. But yeah, either way, both really great albums. Again, listened to these albums a lot when I was younger, along with some other albums from these bands, like Around the Fur and Meteora, Mids to Midnight, Adrenaline, just to name some other albums. Oh, and Diamond Eyes, because Diamond Eyes, I remember was, if I remember correctly, well, at least the song was pretty much my gateway into Deftones. Either, either Diamond Eyes or uh, the song or My Own Summer. One of those two songs was the first time I heard Deftones. But either way, gonna have to go with Habit Theory. But anyways, let me know your thoughts. Let me know which album you like more. Let me know favorite or least favorite songs on these albums and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and like, subscribe, have a nice day, and take care.